Recently, we came across a case of chikungunya virus in one of our patients. This is Dr. Adam Barron. I'm a board certified rheumatologist and I've been in private practice for more than 20 years. Chikungunya virus is a virus that is transmitted by mosquitoes. It is most commonly found in areas of the world such as Africa, Asia, the Western Pacific, and the Caribbean. It is very unusual for an American to be diagnosed with chikungunya. It is very rare for mosquitoes in the United States to be carrying chikungunya. Almost always, if an American is found to be positive for the chikungunya virus, they almost always have traveled abroad. So what does chikungunya cause you to feel? Uh, typically, after you're bit by a mosquito, about three to seven days later, you start developing symptoms. These symptoms can be fevers, you can feel tired, feel unwell, uh, you may get rashes, you can get headaches, red eyes, puffy eyes, as well as joint pains. The joint pains can also uh, involve swelling in the joints. Uh, the joints that may be involved can be the joints of the hands, the wrists, and the ankles most commonly. Typically, the symptoms from chikungunya go away after about seven to 10 days. So the, uh, the fevers, the malaise, the rashes usually just go away at that time. However, the arthritis and joint pains may persist in many people. So the persistence of this arthritis may go on for weeks, months, or even years. Uh, this arthritis can be a very disabling in many people from this severe joint pain and swelling and may affect your ability to function and move around well. So how do you diagnose chikungunya? What healthcare providers use are blood tests. So if you have had the symptoms of chikungunya for less than seven days, then a PCR test should be ordered. If you have had symptoms for more than seven days, then antibody tests should be ordered. There is an antibody test called IgM, which helps diagnose the acute chikungunya. And then there's an antibody called IgG, which helps diagnose chronic chikungunya.